Uh, a few years ago, I took the ARRL course um, <clears throat> called Antenna Design, and uh, it was a very good course for basic, uh, to, to get a basic understanding of how antennas work, and to also build a few antennas. There were some projects that were part of the course. Um, this book was also came with the course. It's called Simple and Fun Antennas. Um, and actually, you could probably learn just as much from this as you could from the course itself. But uh, one of the one of the antenna projects was a what's called a roll-up dipole. And I've noticed, <coughs> excuse me, I've noticed on um, a lot of the YouTube um, videos that uh, a lot of people are using the buddy pole and um, ham sticks and jumper dipoles. And I imagine they're all good. I've got. A lot of experience with ham sticks, although my most recent wasn't that great. But um, but this roll-up dipole is a pretty neat thing too. Um, some people don't like to have wire roll up at the end of their dipoles, but if you use these, if you roll it up on these little uh, rolls, they basically just become um, high impedance coils, and uh, they don't have much effect on the antenna at all. If you use uninsulated wire, it's a blob at the end, and it acts as a capacitor hat. So it's a pretty good deal, and uh, because of the way they're made. Uh, with the wire rolled up on the end, you can cut the wires originally for the, your lowest band you plan to operate. You could go all the way to 160 meters if you wanted to carry that much wire around, but probably 40 or 80 would be best. Um, and just cut them a little long. And uh, when you set it up, if you want a 30 meter dipole, you just unroll 30 meters worth of wire and you have a 30 meter dipole. If uh, that band goes dead on you and you want to go to 40, 20, whatever, you either just wind it up more on the coil or unwind more on the coil. You can also use it as an off-center fed dipole by winding, winding more or less on one end. So it's a pretty useful antenna. It's easy to build. Um, I built mine using PVC uh, pieces for the center conductor and um, the reels were a little hard to get. I ended up buying some uh, ribbon at a uh, at a uh, fabric store and just throwing the ribbon away and keeping the plastic uh, ro uh, rolls or uh, reels, plastic reels. But um, it does work. It's a real good feel antenna because uh, it doesn't take up a lot of room. You need your coax connector. And um, that's about it. Uh, getting it in a tree or wherever you're going to put it is no different than any other dipole. So, um, you might want to give it a try. It's, uh, it's a pretty handy feel antenna.